Hey, what's up? It's Cecily, and thank you for coming back to This Week in Rideshare News. You probably have heard that AB5 was signed into law this past Wednesday, and I'm sure your question is, are drivers going to be reclassified? Despite the law, drivers will not be reclassified until January of next year. Uber says that they're prepared to fight in court and to set aside a $30 million along with DoorDash and Lyft to total a $90 million ballot measure to provide workers with benefits. Both Uber and Lyft feel that they have correctly categorized drivers and feel that because most drivers want a flexible schedule that they should not be considered employees. Now that AB5 has passed, a lot of people are asking really how much will it cost and will those costs be passed on to the passengers? And the short answer is yes. And from what some people speculate, the price could be up to $1.80 per ride for both Uber and Lyft. For example, Uber estimates riders would pay at least $7.65 for a 13 mile ride or Uber pool ride from San Francisco's Union Square to the airport, which is 20 minutes away without traffic. Um, which still doesn't really sound that high, to be honest. As always, the story is developing and we will have more information as it comes. A week after 14 women filed sexual assault suits against Lyft, Lyft is announcing its smart check-in feature. This feature will help predict if something has gone wrong with your trip. If there's any delays in your arrival time, a deviation from your intended route or if you're in a certain spot for too long you'll receive a push notification asking you if you're okay and the same thing will happen for the driver as well you'll see things like did you arrive safely just making sure you arrived at your destination and there'll be a button that says everything's okay there's also a little report issue button and a button that says get emergency assistance which connects you to 911. Lyft also announced a partnership with Rain. Rain is the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. Smart Check-In will launch this month, but by this fall, all Lyft drivers will be required to undergo Rain community education. Currently, a 911 button is in both the Lyft and Uber app. I'm happy to see that they have drivers in mind because there are plenty of drivers who have been sexually assaulted and or worse by riders and and or other people. Safety has always been an issue for me. It's not something that goes away with every single ride that I take. I always think, okay, you know, how do I keep myself safe? And that's something that I feel that both riders and drivers should do. And then my hope is that um, the push notifications for drivers as well uh, so that we can make sure that, you know, that you remain safe. Um, and I think it's also cool too, if a driver doesn't want to have that sort of thing that they can opt out of it. That might be another lawsuit though. <laughs> if you're interested in this article, the link is in the description. Okay, this story just hit the wire. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with OK Do TV. He's an Uber Eats driver that streams his rides and somehow, some way, he saw that he received a bad review. I got thumbs down because I got this motherfucker's cookie. Okay? Got his goddamn cookie. So, you know what? You know what? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! I'm so I thumbed your ass down if I didn't get this cookie. Oh, what? I got a <laughs> He's on the app Twitch, so um, maybe Uber hasn't caught up with him yet, but uh, yeah. Bad reviews, guys. You get bad reviews, someone just might eat your food. And for our final what would you do in this case story, um, Lady writes, I know this is a hot topic and I'm sorry to bring it up again, but I want you to know, but I want to know what you all would do in this situation. I am against picking up minors. So anytime I get a ping from the high school, I dread it. I locked my doors and asked him how old he was. He said he was 18. I asked him for ID. Okay, here's where I'm confused. I've never asked for an ID but I just don't want to take a chance. I know they lied to us all day long. He says he didn't have an ID on him. At that point, do you refuse to ride? I told him how important it is that he be truthful because I can get sued if he's lying and we get in an accident. What do you guys do in that situation? Uh, 
I would cancel the ride. I would cancel the ride for anyone other than someone that was visibly 18 years old. Uh, it's true, most teenagers don't have IDs. Some do, but some, those that drive and that work, you know, they are required to get an ID or um, a, a driver's license, of course. But there is no way for you to know how old that child is. He could have been held back, you know, who knows. But if he doesn't have an ID, he can't prove his age. And when it comes down to it, who was the person that was supposed to know? Who was the person who was supposed to ask? The burden is on you. And so I wouldn't pick him up. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. You please subscribe. All right. Bye. Bye. I have my own channel. And it's a Zaya's World. Okay. It's not Ryan's toy. <laughs> <laughs>